Hello and welcome back to the course. In this video, I'm going to take a brief look at overtrading. This is a very common psychological, uh, not disorder, but dysfunction of traders. And I think this is due to uh, the way we get brought into the markets normally. It's some type of infomercial or commercial or something like that that promises riches. We start to dream about, uh, you know, yachts, the Caribbean, that type of thing. And don't show the proper patience to make money in the long run. You know, far too many people are out there trying to get rich overnight. Now, when you look at this chart, and this is an exotic pair. This is the U.S. dollar check uh, Corona. Uh, but you can see that the U.S. dollar has fallen. This is daily. has fallen for quite some time. So it's an easy trade in hindsight. You just short this pair and you hang on and you make a fortune. Now, the reality is, as this is going along... There are rallies occasionally that you can take advantage of to add to your position, for example, or if you were in and out and had a downward bias, which you would have had at one point or another, you would recognize that it's an opportunity to start shorting again. Uh, but I can guarantee you that most traders were not smart enough, or at least I should say patient enough to hang on to a trade. Because at the very least, you're going to run up your trading costs when you're jumping in and out. You're trying to overtrade. Alternately, I can guarantee that there were traders out there who thought that this had gone too far and wanted to buy the pair, trying to swing for the fences, assuming that they're going to catch the very bottom of the trend. And they are overtrading in the sense that they are not confirmed. You know, we didn't get like a higher high or anything like that to hang your hat on. And in fact, it's been a while since we've seen one of those in this pair. But, unfortunately, traders try to outsmart the market and themselves and overtrading, boredom, the desire to become rich tomorrow, a lot of times will have traders violating all of their rules. If you had any type of trend trading system whatsoever, this was a very easy trade for, you know, at this point in time, about a year and a half. Um, so, uh, clearly, it could have been easy, but most traders overcomplicate things by overtrading. 